Hello, and welcome to this video on how to get started with the STM32F072 Discovery Kit. This Discovery Kit helps you to discover the main features of the STM32F072 MCU and to develop applications around it. The STM32F072 is a superset of the STM32F0 family and offers full compatibility with all STM-F0X1 products. This video describes the STM-32-F072 Discovery Kit and functions offered by it. It then explains where to find information on this kit. And finally, it shows how to load and run an application on the STM-32-F072 microcontroller powering this Discovery Kit. The Discovery Kit includes a ready-to-use Discovery Board and an insert card detailing the three demonstration modes of the pre-programmed demo software and additional information on the development ecosystem. Let's now take a deeper look at the different components included with the board. The STM32F072 Discovery Board is based on the 64-pin STM32F072 RBT6 microcontroller embedding a 48 MHz Cortex-M0 core 128 kilobytes of flash memory and 16 kilobytes of static RAM. It offers standard peripherals, including an auto-synchronized USB full-speed peripheral that does not need any external time base. This consequently reduces the bomb cost for USB applications. The board also features an L3G D20 3-axis MEMS sensor, digital gyroscope, four LEDs, one user push button, one reset push button, and one linear touch sensor, which can also be used as four individual touch keys. The board also integrates an ST-Link V2 interface to program and debug the application firmware. All microcontroller GPIOs are accessible via headers for testing and debugging. We are now going to explain how to program the onboard microcontroller. As an example, we'll use the STM32F072 Discovery Firmware Package, which you may use as a template for your own application development. First of all, let's make sure that the board is properly configured. The ST-Link can be used to either debug and program the onboard microcontroller, or as a standalone ST-Link connected to any other application hardware built on STM32. The CN5 jumpers must be fitted to connect the ST-Link to the onboard microcontroller. The JP2 jumper must be fitted to ensure that the STM32F072 is powered through the USB interface of the ST-Link. We are now going to connect the board to a PC using a standard mini USB cable. Go to www.st.com. Search for STSW-STM32139, the STM32F072 Discovery Firmware Package, and go to Get Software to download the package. Unzip the package to a local PC folder and let's have a look at its structure. The STM32F072 Discovery Firmware Package is composed of three main folders. The Libraries folder containing the CMSYS driver and common ST libraries. The Project folder where you can find the demonstration firmware and the examples. The Utilities folder where the board-specific drivers are located. Now in the Project folder, let's open as an example project file for IAR Systems Integrated Development Environment, STM32F072B-Discovery underscore demo dot EWW. You can use any of your preferred available tool chains. Now your project is open in your IDE. First, compile the demo. Then, load the program. Start the program and play with the demo. At device startup, the four LEDs blink. To switch between the three demo modes, use the user push button. The first push makes the device enter the gyroscope demo. Move the board in different directions and see the LEDs blinking according to the board rotation direction. 
push a second time on the user button, and plug a second USB cable onto the USB user connector for the mouse demo. The mouse pointer will react on the roll and the pitch of the board. Push again on the user button, then play with the touch slider. The LEDs will light up according to the finger position. Now you are ready to develop your own project based on this code. For more information, refer to the UM1674 user manual, Getting Started with the STM32F072 Discovery Kit, and the UM1690 user manual, Discovery Kit for the STM32F0 series, with STM32F072RBMCU, available at www.st.com. STM32F0-Discovery.